Ms. Taba, thank you so much for sharing your story and, and uh, telling us just, uh, you know, how God has transformed your life, how you've met with Jesus and been changed by that. But I, I'd love you to just home in and tell us a little bit more, uh, just about even one or two of those moments where you really met with God and, and what that really was like and what God did in that moment. Yeah. Um, I remember uh, just a few days before I uh, came to Christ and heard the gospel, um, I was in one of the most uh, desperate point of my life. I was really, really broken. And it was at that point that I couldn't really <clears throat> bear uh, that uh, kind of pain and burden I have uh, on my shoulder. And I remember one night when I was in bed, uh, for the first time in my life, I talked to God in a, such a, like an honest and friendly way. Uh, it was totally different with all the Muslim uh, prayers, which you just recite some Arabic uh, words that is not come from your heart. It's just by the rules you have to do that. But that night, I uh, really, from the depth of my heart, I prayed to God that God, I don't know who you are or what you are. I just assume that you are creator of heaven and earth. And, uh, but at this moment, I don't care about your religions. I don't care about your holy people, your prophets, and what should I do or what sh I shouldn't do. I'm, I just need you to save me. I'm, I'm really, really broken. And, uh, I still remember that moment clearly because it was that moment was really uh, special for me. And after a few days was uh, that transformation happened to my brother when he uh, heard the gospel and gave his heart to Jesus. And uh, yeah, and um, um, I, I uh, heard the gospel that day as well through my brother. And uh, by believing Jesus, my life completely changed. Mm. Yeah, I'm just reminded <laughs> of that lovely verse where it says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord mm. will be saved. And you've used the word gospel there yeah. uh, and a couple of times, actually, several <laughs> times. What actually do you understand mm. by that word? What do you understand the gospel to be? Yeah, I mean, uh, Life uh, without uh, knowing God, the true God, uh, knowing Jesus, uh, for me was absolutely empty. I was questioning myself and life a lot, that what is the point of this life? Why I am here on this earth? Uh, what happened when I die? According to my religion, Islam, I know I'm, I'm not going to heaven because I know how bad I am and how uh, dark I am, I know I, I am going to uh, hell. Uh, and with this belief that I'm going to hell actually made me more to be kind of uh, free to whatever I want to do. Uh, because I said to myself, I'm going to hell anyway. It doesn't matter to in, be in the beginning of hell or in the middle of it or in the depth of it. I'm going and I'm going to suffer. And I just had this kind of uh, feeling this distance between me and God. I never could imagine that God would care about me. God would even think about me. And, uh, uh, but hearing the gospel, which is a message uh, that anyone uh, should hear uh, whilst they uh, live on this earth. And it's this, this, that's the most important uh, decision when they hear this message, that's the most important decision they should make in their life because it's about the, the eternal life. It's not only about the limited life we have on this earth. And uh, uh, for me, it was just really uh, realizing that how God loves me, that how He wants me to be with Him, uh, uh, that's exactly uh, what I, uh, the, the, I, I meant to be, I, I was created to be with God, be in His presence and enjoy His presence. Uh, but there was a kind of dis, uh, distance between uh, me and Him happened 
after uh, human beings uh, sinned. Uh, and in, 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 in when I heard the message of gospel, that how God loved me, that he gave his only son, and he died for me, and uh, he resur resurrected again from the death, I truly experienced that. Because when I prayed uh, with the pastor at the end of the video, when he uh, made the invitation, if you want to accept this uh, gift of God, you can pray with me. And when I prayed, and when I uh, like felt that great sense of peace in my heart, and felt really the love of God and the presence of God. And when, when uh, literally after the prayer on that day, uh, I remember I stopped swearing, saying bad words. I, I, I just couldn't say bad words anymore. I, I just uh, didn't have the hatred in my heart towards my brother anymore. Uh, I, uh, I remember even walking in the street, uh, looking at the trees, the green color, and looking at the sky, the blue sky. I was just giving thanks to God. It was just like all the negativity is gone and the uh, kind of positive uh, goodness of God was in my heart. And I, I, I realized that was the gift of new birth when you believe in uh, God. And it was just like uh, going back to God. The gospel is going back to God, accepting what God uh, uh, had for us and have for us and he, he, where he wants us to be. And uh, accepting that, I think, is what we have to uh, make decision about it. So, so you trusted Christ, and you became part of of a church, a, a house church. And uh, the incredible thing is that that church grew. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. What you know? What were the things that were happening? Uh, what was God doing? What were you guys doing? That that led to others becoming followers of Jesus alongside you and your family? Yeah. Uh, so one of the things is uh, really Jesus himself is working uh, in people's uh, lives. And uh, like out of nowhere, no one really, I never heard about Christianity before and uh, no one tried to convince me that look, this is the truth, mm. this is what you should do. It, it was just a moment, mm. uh, a kind of, like I always remember um, my story when I think about my own story. I remember what Jesus said to Nicodemus in John chapter 3, that you hear the sound of the wind and you feel it, but you don't know where it comes from and where it goes. This is how people... Uh, uh, they, they describe how uh, when people uh, have the new birth and f f it's, it's like out of nowhere you can't really, really say how it happens but it's just that God himself is working in, in hidden you know mm -hmm. it's very in hidden and no one can see what God daily is doing in people's life like countries like Iran the news we have only is nuclear bomb or this kind of things but what there is another news of God, which is hidden, uh, and that's the testimonies of hundreds of people just out of nowhere or just with one single prayer, a simple prayer, or <clears throat> just reading a, one of, a part of the description. They just say, yes, I want this, and their life completely changed. But when we came together, we heard our uh, own, uh, each other's stories, that how uh, in an incredible way God change our uh, lives and which gives us more motivation and encourage us mm -hmm. that yes what i've received is absolutely the truth and we just felt a sense of really strongly a sense of family and uh, that we are belong to each other we are a family of god we we were sharing one faith and it was really uh, something uh, incredible for us because uh, we were all from different backgrounds. We never been a Christian and born in a Christian country, you know, that Christianity wasn't a, one of the normal things uh, that when we grow up, we know about it. But it was something new. And all these people with different backgrounds coming together and sharing one story, uh, which is the story of gospel. Uh, all of them has this story of the transformation and uh, experience God's love was putting us together and 
uh, people seeing this wanted to be a part of that. Mustaba, you, you, you clearly really value people gathering together, the, the church, God's people meeting. Um, where does that come from in the depths of who you are? Yeah. Um, I, I share uh, one of my uh, own uh, like stories when I was in solitary confinement. Uh, one of the, the, those days that I was feeling really down and feeling really lonely and being really tired from the uh, several uh, heavy interrogations. I was praying to God uh, uh, and uh, in, in, a, in a broken heart that I feel really alone. I, I don't think I can uh, cope anymore. It's very difficult. And uh, as I was praying, I kind of uh, saw a picture and uh, it was more than a picture. It was just like understanding something. It was a, like a, a deep uh, understanding in my heart. Uh, I saw like a gathering of people that uh, they are standing to each other and they they so close to each other. There is no tension between them. They are so uh, uh, transparent. There is a sense of uh, uh, deep intimacies between them. It's, it was like nothing can harm, harm their friendship. Mm -hmm. And the joy they had was uh, each other. They were they were happy with each other. They, they, and uh, I, I can't really describe it, but the sense of love, uh, love I l literally experienced that. that I, it was like a taste of that. It was like a taste of heaven for me. Uh, but what I experienced was so sweet that I said, I, I want to be a part of that. It was like they were uh, kind of also uh, the victorious ones, that no, they are above everything, no one can harm them. There is, there is no, no tension, there is no uh, disharmony. Everything is just in peace, in a shalom. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just really, it made me really happy that I want to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. And I remember in the, from the center of that gathering, it was like Jesus is speaking to me that you belong to this and you're not alone. We are with you. And that moment, I remember a smile came on my face. And like very shortly after uh, maybe one hour, they called me for another interrogation. And uh, I remember I was sitting behind the table with a blindfold on my face. It, that, that sense of picture and understanding was still with me and the smile was still on my face. That how the uh, power of uh, family of God can make us strong and uh, courageous uh, because we 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 belong to each other. We we can't make it uh, alone. Mm -hmm. God created us and put us uh, in a way on like here that we have to be with each other. We complete each other, and there is something in being together that uh, nothing else can give it us. Thank you, Mishaba so much for sharing that. I, I think it might be good just for us to take a moment to, to pray for those that, that, that are gathering together uh, in parts of the world where, where it's really difficult to do that, but also for, for us here in our context in Ireland as we gather together, you know, week by week, day by day, uh, that we would really know the presence of God among us more and more. So can we can we just pray together for a moment? Lord, we do want to thank you for the incredible privilege that it is to, to meet with, with other brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for this opportunity for Meshaba and I to be together. And Lord, we pray today uh, for, for those who gather wherever they gather, whether it's in Iran, whether it's in other parts of the United Kingdom, whether it's, Lord, in our churches here in this diocese, Lord, that we would know your presence, that we would, Lord, build each other up, that we would bless one another. And Lord, for those who gather in really difficult places and in difficult contexts, we pray, Lord, for a double portion of your presence for them, we pray today. Continue to meet with your people wherever we gather in the name of Jesus. And thank you so much 
for this wonderful gospel that changes lives. And Lord, we pray, we ask that lives would be changed uh, all across your world uh, as men and women and children believe in Jesus. Grant it, Lord, we pray in his holy name. Amen. Thank you.